Okay, bear with us a few minutes. We're um, we're losing hydraulic pressure. There's a I absolutely the have to go out Sit as many times as possible. Because we realistically, I don't think Q2 is going to be hard, really hard. Nice. Well, that's um, a little bit faster than practice. A little bit. No, I'm going to go up for mine. No. Giovanazzi hit me. All clear the garage. That wasn't a joke. Really ready to leave. I believe you. Now we're blocking a Mercedes. That's the train. 
It was Bodus, though, of course. I am just... Holy crap. All that corner cut. The stewards didn't. I've got to wait four minutes for bodywork repair. Fuel now. The tank is empty. One. Um, I will, but um, because I want to just let you know where we're at in the standings right now. Yeah, I see where we're at. I'm not on the hot lap. Um, Mazepin is eight tenths ahead of me. <laughs> There's no fucking way I can do eight tenths faster. I can probably take off half a second. I have a couple of scruffy corners. I do have rear diffuser damage. Another minute to go. That's from um, Giovinazzi, who is still in the pit. So I assume he got damage too. So I lost an entire run off this Emmet. That's pretty realistic. I just absolutely killed a Haas mechanic. Well, they deserve it. They're probably like Russian mobsters anyway. Yeah, I like the fact that every single person, even though it's the same employees, has suddenly just inexplicably added an of or an itch.
All right, I got another run I gotta try. If I'm not up on my time, I'm gonna have to come in immediately and try again because I lost four minutes. I'm heading out as well. Are you already out on track? No, I'm, I'm leaving pit now. Okay. I will Everyone start ready? pit now. I'll be able okay, to let's go. Engine, probably. I don't think there's any tow to be gained here. track at least. Also, don't run lean on your um, outlap. I know. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, sorry. You spoke to me in the bad corner. So I'm sorry good, about that. So I good, just wanted I to make sure that you knew that your engine was uh, heated up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, don't worry. Uh, also, I'm trying to burn off the extra fuel because I want to be as light as possible for the lap. I didn't. I had a, um, I went really deep into turn three and I lost so much time. I, I was up three tenths in turn one. Uh, I, work, I was up eight tenths at so one point and I ended up up by six tenths on my previous lap time. Still, it's a bit loud. Yeah, that was an okay lap. I'm, I'm reasonably happy with all but two corners. Because you're pretty close to me. Yeah, I'm happy about that. Which, yeah, you're like one tenth off me. So, we're getting to the limits of the car, I think. <laughs> I like, uh, I like the, the Lucky Moose Chaos thesis. Where, you know, as soon as I start getting good to you, we've hit the limits of the car. <laughs> you can really get away with a lot of corner cuts on Bahrain, apparently. Three minutes to go. Alright, I'm going up for my final run. It's gonna get traffic for sure. I'm debating if doing a final run's worth it.
Well, you don't have to do one. I don't think I'm gonna. But I have to. My pride needs one. I'll leave the flexibility of having more fresh tires. So Jeff just told me that I'm in the drop zone. We need a good lap or it's over. Uh oh. Welcome to the drop zone. I'm probably going to lock up or spin or something. Using all the track. Oh, was that disallowed? No, it wasn't, but I did lose like four tenths in the first sector. Ah. Uh. I could have been a second, 1.2 seconds up. Even with that really sloppy uphill part. Hang on, why is Nikita Mazepin indicated as a citizen of the world? Also, why can't I, I want you to I want you to go look at the times right now. 126, 120 yeah Mazepin's are the low 128s. No look at my time. I actually can't. I can't yeah, can. scroll down in the yeah, standings. You, you have to click you have to go over. With you have your to hit advance. Do I have to hit advance first? No, 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 no. I'm hitting the up and down buttons on my. No, hit over. Hit to the right. Uh, there does not appear to be any sort of. Well, they click. Advance. Oh, oh, no! Sorry, oh, I did yeah, have to hit it. advance. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. I, look! Look how close. Oh, that's nice. I lost so much time in the first sector. All right. Oof, I am a half a second off of the next slowest guy. Youchi. I, I that was a I pushed so hard. Oh my god. I believe you. Like I was up uh 3 tenths out of the first corner and then I screwed it up in turn 3. I don't know if you were watching, but I went over I the, was watching, yeah. yeah. I took yeah, too I much was... curb there and it unsettled me and then I, yeah. I was down a tenth going into the S. So I gained all that time in the next couple of sectors. Mm -hmm. Less than a tenth from the drop zone. Well, 16th is nothing to sniff at. That could have been a Q2. Could have. Well, at least you uh, started a long-running tradition about qualifying your teammate. 
That was the, a that was a push lap. That was hard. All right. Uh, I assume we can skip. Yeah, I think we can. Uh, gotta help we can. Um, race director settings. Uh, do we have to sit through this? That that can't be right. That doesn't. It doesn't seem right. There's got to be a button somewhere. Uh, exit the game. I literally race director. Okay, maybe race director. No. Uh. Huh. It may well be the case, Lucky, that we're going to sit around for 25 minutes, which doesn't quite seem right. That's funny, because I literally brought this up as one of the possibilities, but I assumed it would be me watching you, and that once we were both out, it would just end qualifying. There has to be a way. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Well, let's look it up. How to skip the session in F1 2021 club career. Unable to skip or fast forward qualifying sessions July 26th. The responses are removed and also removed. Well, that's good to know. Uh, hmm. Yeah, okay, so I guess we'll want to do one session qualifying then. Because you can't, well, we can't quit because that would go to the main menu. Yeah, well, and we can't even retire from session. I mean, what do we do? So we wait. Hang on, I can't even. I can't even look at people in. Oh wait, I can look at people in front camera angles, I guess. But, geez, yeah, this isn't going to be a good use of time at all. Well, I suppose I could run a dungeon in Final Fantasy. No. Because you're probably you fresh this game. Do you want me to watch less stroll? I mean, if you try to run something else, you're probably gonna crash. Okay, yeah. okay, I'll just write. I'll, I'll work on a. Uh, I'll work on the uh, Milky Repeater story. You don't have that much time. Uh, I got 22 minutes. Ooh, Mickey the Mazepin, fastest man. Yeah, we'll just make it short quality from now on. Yes, uh, I I agree with this. We can structure. I didn't even have any meat press. Yeah, it's too bad that we don't have meat the press right now. So, how's your day been? Typical. Yeah. Average, mediocre. Funky. I had a uh, kind of hilariously nightmarish attempt to broadcast because my internet got extremely bad, so I couldn't even oh. stream at like 480p. Who won the um? The Kenny Laflair. It was wild. He he had two pit stops before lap four, if I recall correctly, and he ended up winning the race because there were a ton of safety cars that got him back into it, and it made his strategy work. 
So he ended up on being the lead of the three guys with fresh tires in like 4th, 6th, and 7th. And then he just powered his way up and RFX Rafa was on very old mediums that were dying at the end. Yeah, it was a pretty exciting race. Uh, I posted the race video in uh, FRL. Hmm. Nameless Nate calling out absolutely nothing to see at 204. I'm still pretty disappointed about my pieces in Silverstone. Yeah. Well, you know what? I, I uh, ran a really good race. You and I both have a race on Wednesday. Yeah, at this track. Wait, what? I thought it was in Australia. I haven't looked at the <laughs> I haven't looked at the calendar. Oh, is it Australia? Ugh. Is it? Oh jeez, I don't know. I don't know either. I hate Australia. I haven't even read the rules, man. Technically, I didn't lie by when I uh, when I wrote, "Have you read the rules?" I said, "I should hope so." Well, during the Silverstone race, I just had a funny little moment where uh, Sakuri had to go broadcast, and he asked me to be the race organizer. So I said, "Yeah, that's not my job anymore." Yeah. But I, I mean, I did it anyway. But you know. Yeah, I'm that's the. That the classic struggle. I still need to see if I can get my telemetry app working properly since I realized I wasn't collecting data properly the last couple of races. Like, I thought I was recording telemetry, but then it just wasn't going anywhere. Fifth place for Charles Leclerc. Yeah, there's no way I could have got the Q3. Nah. Just happen. physically impossible. The fact that we what can't skip have... this is a little comical. Eh, it's alright. It's not that bad. It's, it, I time guess it's... It, it, it lets me rest my brake leg a little bit. That's true. Do you have uh, Do you have your pedals attached to something? Uh, well, yes, kind of. Are they pressed up against the wall or like a block? My or pedals. Okay, I, my desk had a keyboard tray, right? A, a wooden keyboard tray. Oh yes. Yeah, yeah. I snatched that out, and I'm using it as the plank to which oh. I have um, strapped my pedals to, and I they see. are propped. They're propped up between where I sit and the wall mm. on this long board, right? And up under them are two dumbbells. To like prop them at an angle. Man, we we both have some some funny setups for our stuff. Because I was running my pedals flat, and yeah. I didn't like that. It was hurting my leg. So you know, it works pretty well, well for me, but I'm okay with pointing my toes out. If you're if yeah, that like stretches, I, well, yeah. It's not like that. I think well, you have longer legs probably. So I do have really friggin' long legs. But for me, the way that my desk chair is. It has a really deep seat, so yeah. it, it kind of rests like right at my knees. Oh, yeah. So then, it, so then it makes it really hard to flex if the pedals are at the wrong angle. I see. Yeah, my seat's not like that at all. Uh, my seat, seat goes maybe halfway down my thighs. I'd like it to be larger, yeah. but... Uh, yeah, mine, that is hard mine's to a really old me. chair, but it goes to it goes to my knees, pretty much. The back side of my knees. So it makes it really hard to kind of push. You know what I mean? Yeah. Are you seeing weird rain effects on, like... Okay, so I'm looking at the Mercedes uh, little pit gantries. Do they look like they're, like, flickering with water? Not to me. Really? Huh. Weird. Okay. That might, that might be your super um, RTX card, the extra graphics. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Which I would like to have one, but of course they cost two grand now. Yeah, I, I I was very lucky in getting this right as COVID was going down. I remember they had all the components together and they didn't have the correct color of uh, of the tower that I wanted. I was like, eh, can I wait for another one? It's like, probably not. Yeah, I would really like to upgrade, but... Mm -hmm. 
Although I, I kind of like the one that I've got now. It's all it's all white and black. Very Samuel yeah. Hayden. I am using a Cooler Master case that I purchased in 2011. And nice. I, I would like to have a new one, but I need a lot of new components. I need a new power supply. I'm okay with my CPU for now. I mean, I would like a faster one, but, you know, I'm not really gaining much out of it with the yeah. stuff that I do. Well, hey, you know, we just have to wait until we can all upgrade to quantum computers. Man, I'm this is especially engaging given that none of the AIs are even doing anything. <laughs> this is like a real qualifying session. This is like a real qualifying session, and we're stuck in it in real time. With no commentary. With no commentary, and also, like, no Will Buxton saying funny things, no Ted Kravitz saying funny slash insightful things, no Corona no, Chad no, no, no. gracing our ears with his beautiful, beautiful voice. Now, with Ted Kravitz, what you mean is him trying to say something, but being cut off every time by Crawford. <laughs> Just a moment, Ted. Two sex, Ted. <laughs> He's never completed a thought in any of the seasons I've watched. Uh, you should you should watch his notebook. Um, you can find it pirated all the time, um, but he's got a really fun little sort of like technical kind of behind the scenes pit lane walk that he does at the end of each race and qualifying. I quite enjoy it. Ted's a fun guy. He's he's the kind of guy I'm happy he's in F one. Oh, hang on. We've got cars coming out. Here we go. Is that Nikita? Look at that Mazda panic. Yep. Oh, yeah. The it's superior our superior driver. Superior, the superior driver. The man who looks simultaneously like a baby and an old man. Oh, hey, at least I can set up the track map on them. There we go. Now let's get that telemetry here. It's interesting seeing how the AIs take that weird off-camber corner into Sector 2. You know, the one... Which oh, one? Man. Uh, the, the really, the really, sh uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, turn seven, I guess? The one just before the middle straight. Oh, the, the corner breaking for the hairpin. Yeah, yeah, the weird one. It's one of my least favorite corners in the calendar. It's a weird one. It certainly is. I guess after... After this, and after our 50% race... Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll have to take a break, and then I can do some drawing. Nice, nice. Let's see, what is the time? 11.45. Yeah. We did an entire hour of practice, so... Well, that does make sense. And we needed it, or <clears throat> I needed it. It's kind of weird that my quali sim was a second slower than my run in Q3, Q1. Well, it's because your quali sim didn't have you on actually low fuel for some reason. Yeah, but even then, it was only like three laps of fuel, four laps, which that's only about, I don't know, three tenths of time. Mm -hmm. Alright, who do you think's gonna drop? I think Ocon's. Jeez. Mm, Actually, Alpine's not looking very good. Like Alonso, his pace was not there. I don't think Ocon's getting out. I think we're gonna lose. Definitely gonna lose Mazepin. And yeah, Mazepin's definitely gone. Giovinazzi's gone. Ocon's gone. And then it's kind of a question of 
it's is gonna anyone who's going to be able to bump. I think, you know what, I think it's not going to change at all. Boring, boring prediction, but I think I predict no. Oh, shit, I think I think someone just changed. Oh, yay, session done. Well, that's interesting. Um, okay, who, who dropped? Okay, both Alpha Tari's dropped. Yeah, yeah, they were already out. Um, but uh, Lance Stroll got out, which bumped Tsunoda. And I thought Tsunoda was going to get through. Okay. Okay, well, now they're setting 126s. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see what these guys got. Or rather, I don't want to see what these guys got. Just take me to the race. At least it's not a very long session. 12 minutes. Oh, oh it skipped it, it. It skipped it. Nice. Hang on. Is that what's supposed to happen? Yeah, maybe we had a glitch. Maybe. Look at Bottas up there, a tenth ahead of Hamilton. Oh, wow. Robotus strikes again. Verstappen P5, not good. Good qualifying from Stroll. And Vettel. And Norris, for that matter. Norris beating Verstappen is big. Verstappen must have had a real off lap. Several of them. How Realistic uh, gap between Ricardo and Norris? I can hear my, my mom's little Ricardo fan tears from here. Alright, here we go. That's good to know. It's supposed to skip. Yeah, so we might be able to continue it that way. Okay, I got a little bit of a claim. I'd hope I'd get some acclaim for... I wonder if we're going to get uh, Meet the Press before the race. Yeah. It would make sense. At the work station. Tough luck there. It's not quite where we'd want to be on the grid, but chin up, it's not the end of the world. Odds are one of us is going to crash out or have a uh, engine fault or something. <laughs> Emma tells me it's important that I qualify ahead of Lucky Moose. <laughs> Uh, well, I've got some bad news for you, Emma. I'm not here. I'm still, to I'm still loading, so. Yeah, that's fair. I can't see anything yet. I'm still loading screen. Oh, sure. Well. Yeah, tell me when you're out of the loading screen, and I'll. Nope. Still loading. I think I will try to draw a Melky at some point. Yeah. Just add a bunch of cyberpunk like utilities all over. Except she doesn't have any of that anymore because she showed up in the hospital gown. Well, in spirit. In spirit, in spirit yes. Rollerblade. Still loading is probably going to be a problem with the game. That's unfortunate. Because sometimes this happens with Codemasters games where you get stuck in a loading screen. Yes, goodness. I, I feel like naming your company Codemasters is just like... It's sort of naming a ship unsinkable, you know? It's like calling the U.S. Army war winners. <laughs> Why, at least they tried. Speaking of COVID, it's pretty bad down here. I am sorry to hear that. It's only getting worse, too. It's, uh, it's a time. Remember when YouTube was, uh, like, demonetizing videos anytime someone said that, so Game Grumps kept on talking about the Backstreet Boys reunion tour? Yeah. Yeah. Not, did, did you ever, uh, uh that was I, my well, I don't favorite. watch Game Grumps, but. Yeah. I love that ongoing joke. Just not sure if they were allowed to talk about it, so they're explaining <laughs> you should stay indoors because the Backstreet Boys are roaming the streets. 
Yeah, we've had some very mixed messaging from political and scientific communities on this thing. Oh, hey, you'll love this one. Uh, the Yukon Territory's main doctor is now the uh, the liberal candidate running for uh, the office of member of parliament in the Yukon. Yeah, I believe you've mentioned that. Yes. Yeah. I, actually, it was sort of funny when I mentioned, you know, oh, it's the second biggest news story in Canada. I assumed that you'd heard, and then you mentioned you were chatting with Thomas earlier today, and you hadn't heard that the election was called. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I didn't know. Still I stuck in the. Trudeau. It's, I think yeah, he's doing it just so that he can win. Yeah, that's that's pretty much the idea. Yeah, is he thinks that the polling's looking pretty good, and he's got a minority government which is unstable because he can lose confidence votes, which automatically calls an election. So he wants to secure it so that he can have a uh, unbroken government to twenty twenty six. I hope he loses. Well, the problem is, in Canada, him losing usually means something worse, unless unless glorious Jagmeet Singh can do, uh, can do something, but uh, we haven't really been close since Leighton. But honestly, the, the Tories are in such a shape that they're, I don't think they're realistically going to be able to, uh, to put up a challenge. Because by and large, the liberals haven't completely like stepped in eighteen rakes in a row yet. So in terms of vague competence at what they say they're going to do, they're doing okay. And sometimes vague competence is all you really need. So you're still okay, stuck. So up. Yep. Okay. Um, should we quit to main menu and then rejoin? I can't do anything because I'm in a loading screen. Okay. Uh, hmm. Do you think you should force quit your uh, force quit your race? Probably. We already finished qualifying. Yeah, we already so finished qualifying. Save. Yeah, it, it saved earlier. Hello, I was just checking in with my uh, next of kin, making sure that, uh, you know, we didn't start to death here. Say hello to Matthew. Oh, my okay. mom says hello, by the way. Oh, hello to your mom. I'm rejoining. She says hello. Hello. <laughs> Excellent. All right. I did well, have to force quit. It almost froze my entire system to close it. Amazing. Codemasters inspiration to all of us that if you two keep on doing something for long enough eventually electronic arts will buy you well let's see i'm now back in on the same loading screen oh dear well if you're stuck in that same loading screen i could quit to menu and then reload perhaps yeah let's do that okay i will do that Hopefully it'll kick me when you close the session. Uh, let's see. Exit workstation, menu, what, what, wrong button. Quit to main menu, exit multiplayer. Saving to online services. Okay, so it's saving us exactly where we were. I'll rehost it. Error, there are yeah. not enough players remaining to start the session. I can't imagine why. 
All right. Yeah, it did. It did change from loading to communicating with online services. Now it's migrating host. Cool. Okay. Chaos has left the session. I'm still on a black screen. All right. Uh, I will re-host the two players. It's group. not sending me back to the menu. Oh, hang on. I can rejoin with you. I'm still stuck in the thing, so there's no. Well, point. I'll see. I'll see what happens. Connecting to Lucky Moose. Let's see if this does anything, just uh, for purposes of testing. It's not. And why does it almost freeze my system when I have to shut down this game? Okay, the, ses the session I'm trying to join is no longer available. Yeah, because oh, I, I, I had to. Ah. I had to delete it. Okay. I had um, to end well. the task because I was stuck in the menu. I was yeah, stuck in the loading happens. screen. It wasn't changing. Okay. So I'll resume the two-player career again. Joining session. Okay. Awaiting players. Cool. Uh, you need me to send you an invite? No, I think I can join from my two-player career menu. Cool beans. Welcome. Alright. Ready, uh... Alright. Race. Okay, this is good, because when I was loading into you, it said practice. Yeah, so, so this means that we can do practice sessions without actually committing to a full thing, which yeah. is good. Yeah, that's great. We're, we're learning, learning every day. Lucky Moose at the workstation. We'll see, uh, we'll see if that means anything. Yeah, I'm in the workstation. Cool. Awesome. Obviously, I expected a better session, but these things happen from time to time. Well, Try so to Emma told you to out-qualify me. She's just telling me that I better get points. Oof. Emma is a scary woman. She, she, she's, she's spooky. She has high expectations of me, and I find that frightening. All right. Uh, should we uh, go to the race? Yep. All right. Because if we have uh, problems, it'll be great. Yeah. Problems. Problems keep, are keep good. Keep in mind, I've watched uh, Tiamat Marduk, you know, his channel. Yeah, I know Tiamat Marduk's channel. And he's he's been doing some of his, and he's been having a lot of problems with the car, like but retirement rumor and stuff, speculation so. all come to an end today, as we return to racing for the opening events of what promises to be an enthralling season. Welcome along, then, to round one of this okay, year's Okay, so medium Formula to hard sounds awful. We'll yeah, be racing around 3.36 miles of the magnificent Bahrain International Circuit today. I'm going to do an soft, eye out for medium, medium, the front left but I'll, I'll see what happens tricky as the racing zone of turn 10. Also, do not underfuel your car at all. So Just leave it at plus two laps because this car, from what I've seen, it doesn't have the upgrades to the power here. unit and stuff, so it chugs to gas. Their hold so. on the title. Red Bull okay. seeking to secure their position as the main contender. Like you will not title. finish the race Ferrari, if you no try to do like plus one. Fresh start, Brave words for a man who assumes I won't be double lapped. On the grid, the prospect of some really exciting battles. Well, we might be double lapped unless we take Hamilton out. Rebranded Aston Martin and Alpine. Oh, there's Giovinazzi, the hitman. Lots to discuss then with Anthony Davidson, who's joined me in the commentary box for today's event. It's yeah, good yeah, to get that yeah. Actually, coffee. hold on. Before Let's we start, let me get out of the back. Racing today. Of course, yeah. I can't know at this point how competitive these teams are relative to each other, but hopefully nobody is able to run and hide. We want to see these drivers pushing to the limit all the way to the checkered flag. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The Finn starts from pole position and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Perez, Norris, Max Verstappen and Vettel, Stroll, Ricardo. Leclerc and Carlos Sainz. Sonoda, Gasly, Esteban Ocon and Mazepin. Lucky, Raikkonen, Mick Schumacher and Fernando Alonso. Giovinazzi and Alexander. And with preparations almost complete, okay. let's head down to the track. Also, there is a tropical storm over Georgia. Oh, solid. There is a uh, mild... Uh, 
overcast over the Yukon. Yeah, well, we've got hurricane season coming, so there will yeah, be a lot more. we don't have many hurricanes more. up here anymore. Well, you will in 50 years, I'm sure. I'd be incredibly impressed if we managed to get hurricanes just given geography. Just have a big enough earthquake that knocks the mountains down. Well, that that is the big one that they speak of. All right, are you ready? Uh, yeah, I'm just fiddling around with my strategy a little bit. I'm I'm gonna Can do I... soft, medium, medium. Pit I'm on lab so seven. Pit on yeah, I might pit on lab eight or nine. Do a soft, medium, soft. All right. All right. And I am going to just fuel it for the regular number of laps. On the assumption that I'm probably going to end up at least one lap down. I wouldn't. I would not fuel it because you're going to be. If this absolute worst lot, case yeah. scenario, this is a good circuit for lifting post. We'll see. We'll see. All, All right. right. You ready? Ready. Let's careful in turn one because uh, we're we're gonna I'm gonna DNF in turn one. All right. Well, uh, I will try not to do that. Let's go. Good luck. How's it going? Nineteenth place ahead of Schumacher, right behind Alonso. Uh, P thirteen. Just got you a Nazi back for you. I got around Leclerc somehow. Position. Try to keep focus. Okay, I'm just buying you a Nazi. 
DRS will be enabled this lap. You can use it when within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Holy crap, the AI is good this year. Pops up every 10% for each tire. I see. We're trailing our teammate by 13.2 seconds. Leclerc! Just walled me. Yellow flag. Oh no. Someone in a battle for P11. Yellow flag ahead. We've been informed of an incident which has resulted in lots of. And in doing so, he took out track. Sonata too. The safety so. car is being deployed. Drop your speed. Our delta is too low, and we risk a penalty. Slow your pace immediately. Well, now I can run on lean mix for a while. Save some fuel. I'm really sorry that happened, Lucky. I mean, I was almost in the points. See, Sonata was... Sonata was, um... on the other side of me, and then Le Leclerc hit me and him, so we both got DNF. I think I should pit right now. I think I should. Yeah, go mediums. It's not like I have much track position to lose, and the guys behind me need to pit too. Yeah, there's no one behind you. Okay, hitting in. Leclerc did not pit, he got a penalty. Here we go, onto the mediums. Go, go, go. You'll be racing. Yeah, Leclerc's got a five second go, go, go. penalty for that. I sometimes suspect I'm not going to be able to capitalize on that. We'll be doing one more stop today. One stop left. Well, I'm ahead of Mazikin now. He also has a five second penalty. That's nice. Alonzo has a five second penalty. He's made seven. Claire's probably gonna pit this lap. Try strategy on point. No, he's not pitting. That was a huge mistake. I 
opponents making huge mistakes. I like this. And the front five did not pit either, which is really bad because they're five laps in on softs. Alright, I'm one straight behind them. Couldn't be catching fairly soon, I think. Car will probably come in this lap. A bit better. Right, pick up the pace of touch, please. We need to close to within 10 car lengths of the car ahead. It's coming in. I don't know why the front runner stayed out or why Leclerc did. Leclerc, he must have a. He has to have wing damage. Okay, let's get ready to go racing again. The safety car is in this lap. When the field accelerates, remember, there is no overtaking until the green flags. Safety car in this lap. Tires. Nah, I just saw them pulling away and freaked out a little bit. Caution, caution. Little flag up ahead. Be aware, there's an incident in the next part of the track. No overtaking through the yellow flags. I feel like the front runners are gonna have to pit soon. Yeah, I just need to get caught back up. is 6.7 seconds.
Hamilton in. Looks like Stroll team. Yellow flag. Someone's come off ahead of you. There's a yellow flag ahead. Let's look there. Okay, Behind clear. you. Yeah. DRS has been enabled. DRS is now enabled. Did, this D did he have engine problems or what? He was fun. Karma. Passes that are definitely going to happen for 500. From Leclerc? No, from Hamilton. Oh, no. fresh slots. Yeah, it's going to be difficult for Leclerc to catch you. Now Norris, he's gonna get you for sure. Metal too. I saw that. Watch out for Spinala. Oh, watch out for Spinala. Claire is 30 seconds behind, there's no, no chance. Don't underestimate me. Well, he also has to pit again. As do I. Yeah, but he has to go on mediums. Ah. Uh. Currently, Mick Schumacher is P8.
car gap to the car in front is 4.4 seconds. Oh man, I can only imagine how mad Hamilton would be in this scenario. You're losing two seconds a lap to the car behind, two seconds. He's being held up by Schumacher. Nice. I saw that. I was watching the Delta and I was like, damn. Iggy's putting in some laps. Good to know that I'm not actually doing that. It's just him uh, collapsing. At this rate, you're going to get points. Maybe. Is that not a safety car? They just moved Geo's car off the pit entry. Oh. I'm gonna close the pit entry. Gap ahead is 14.1 seconds. Approaching the pit window, you'll be on the mediums.
Fernando's having to lift a lot of corners on those hards. Yeah. Whoops. I think I'm gonna have to pay for mediums again. Yeah, you you should anyway. Yeah. How bad's the wear? Fifty percent. Well, you have 13 laps to go, and you only on these for 10. Yeah. I also had that spin right at the beginning that was unfortunate on these. Yep. Gap to car in front is 1.8 seconds. Actually, only one of the wheels is at 50. The rest are all at 40 still. Okay, well, I would try to go. We want to pit this lap. Two more so laps and then put on mediums. Yes, that's good. Do I? Uh, I can't tell, but it, if you, you spun too much, you need to just go ahead and get fresh tires because you're going to lose time. There's 11 laps to go. Yeah. Plus a think bunch so, of other people. I think are softs are an option if I go two more laps. Softs can go eight laps, but they're going to be really worn. I would go for mediums to be safe. Okay, the car behind has newer tires than you. Maintain our gap if possible. Right. Complete, go now. Fortunately, that does mean that you're going to have to deal with Leclerc. Yeah. We'll see. Up to speed now. Let's get some heat into those tires. Because he's on fresh mediums. So am I.
have been the inside. I think you're good until turn one. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna take the inside. Pass. I'm not impressed, but not surprised. It is the player after all. That's not a corner cut. Yeah, he literally bumped you off the track. Yeah. Well, I mean, he did uh, take me out of the race. If you damage anything, you can only hope. Slippery curve. That's what got me in uh, one of the practice things. Alright, just finish. The gap to the car ahead is 10.0 seconds. and Stroll came together. Nice. I mean, bad for them, but nice. Is Stroll gonna retire? Hell. He's looking pretty slow. He just sat in the track for a while. He's moving again.
So is Perez leading? Uh, Verstappen. Oh, nice. Bell just passed Gasly. Real battle on track right now is for P4. It's Hamilton and Perez. They've caught up to Ricardo in third. Our gap to the car in front is 15.8 seconds. Hamilton's straight line speed is crazy. There's five laps of fuel remaining. Perez is using ERS in a straight line and Hamilton is just pulling away. But now Danny Rick's holding them both up. Hamilton's an incel. I don't think so. He kinda has that vibe, I don't know. He can have that vibe and not be. Oh man, poor Ricardo, his podium's gone. Oh, that's sad to hear. <laughs> a big kick there. And 
I'm just watching Ricardo's dreams. I'm just watching Ricardo's dreams come crashing down around him. As Hamilton pulls two seconds out ahead of them. No issues with time. While well, Ricardo holds up Perez. Taking care of them. Three seconds ahead of them now. It's a Ferrari going slow. It's Carlos Times. There's three laps of fuel remaining. possible for someone as famous as Lewis to be in the cell. I think it'd have to be Ball cell. Really though? Well, I mean, maybe. But in cell requires someone who wants to have a sexual relationship with someone yeah. but is unable to. And I think I'm, just I'm actually based curious, on his fame like, and wealth. Psychologically, I'm curious Green because flags. of his past experiences with uh, bringing all those various women to the paddock and then like Mercedes or McLaren or whoever shut him down on it, and then now he has nobody. Ron Dennis is no fun. Well, he had a bit of a weird teenage years, so I think he looked at his teenage years in his 20s, and a bit in his 30s, honestly. What's the saying? Every kid is two tenths? <laughs> okay, I got the head is like 20. That's, that's yes, yeah, for every child you have, you lose two tenths of speed. That's Kviat's true revenge against uh, Verstappen. No, take my girlfriend. <laughs> and Verstappen took his seat and his girlfriend. I know, that's brutal. Yeah. Oh, Max is just P2. He's a true gentleman. I see that uh, Bottas is taking the win. This is the final lap. Final lap of the race. Uh. Nope. I was making a joke about Kivia's girlfriend anyway. I wasn't paying attention to the final finishing order. Only I thought this was a joke remain. about how Perez uh, gave up the win. So in the space of four laps, Ricardo went from P3 to P6. P6 is Ricardo's position these days. So I'd like Hulk in seventh. Yeah, watch Hulk come back and join Williams, see. and Williams has like the best outcome of, from the regulations. Alright, I'm at 51% where. Podium by Barcelona? No, I just P4 the entire season. <laughs> 
Well, I think realistically, right. I would have had points. Yeah, yeah. I think I think that I think that this level is reasonable. Like, um, if the car was a little bit better, then I think I could have been competing for points there. A fantastic team effort then to secure victory here in the desert. Like, I need to be about a second past their lap. Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today. What set them apart from the rest? Taking care of the car was absolutely vital today. It's been obvious all weekend that the pace was there, but look at the attrition rate we've had. They would have been right. very concerned about any minor anomaly towards the latter stages of this Grand Prix. Alright. The first race of our 10 race championship. And I DNF. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. On lap four. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. Oh, sorry, there was so much downtime with this one. Hey, Bottas looks happy. And Max is happy that he beat uh, Hamilton. All right, just stay in the screen for a bit longer right. so that I can put the results into the uh, into the table. By the oh, way, I are already advanced. Oh, you're we already should advanced. Save it, though. Yeah, yeah. We sh we should have the standings table in the thing. I don't have faith in this game to keep the standings properly after one or two patches happen. So I've already advanced. I'm on a loading screen again. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna cut off the video in just a moment. Alright, stop the recording now.